Flags I find cool. I honestly feel anger when someone calls this masterpiece Pepsi. So yeah, a lot of people say that the South Korean flag looks like the Pepsi logo, but when you enhance and enhance all of the angles, you see that everything is beautifully thought out and lines up fantastically. I've never understood all the different symbols, but you can see they represent the seasons, directions, celestial bodies. It's just delightful. Honest redesign of the flag of the African Union. So recently some countries joined and then some others dropped out, but apparently at one stage every country was officially in the Union, and therefore Africa is the only continent on Earth that was at one stage fully unionized, even though it's not right now. Why are there two USA flag emojis? What is the other one? I've heard this before, but I forgot the reason. Ah, it's because one's the flag of the USA and one is the flag of the US outlying islands. Just like there's also three versions of the Norway flag because of these places and three versions of France. Might be an unpopular opinion, but I think the anti-war Russian flag is better than the original. I'll be honest, it doesn't look great with a white background because I can't really see what's going on. Nah, you know what? I don't like it at all. White on a flag, I feel, only works if it's in the middle or if it's not around the edges, because otherwise it just looks weird on stuff like this. Flags with red replaced with orange. Okay, I mean, they look fine. It kind of just looks like your printer's run out of ink. Five flags on the new proposed currency for the economic group BRICS. I've not heard of BRICS or B-R-I-C-S, but I guess it stands for Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Are they planning a little gang together? What's going on? Why is Ireland's flag the only one that isn't the national flag in world rugby? Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, apparently it's because the Ireland rugby team comprises the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland. The Northern Ireland is normally part of the UK and Ireland's its own thing. What country has the best X flag? I mean, Jamaica is iconic, let's be honest. Surely nothing's beaten that. What else is there other than Scotland, maybe? Yeah, there we go. And then what's the last one? Burundi. Nah, I'm sorry, Burundi, but Jamaica all the way. Here is my suggestion for the redesign of the Japanese flag. The eight stripes represent the eight regions of Japan and the reflection of the sun on the water. <laughs> the Japan flag's iconic. It does not need a change. And I don't like all these little thin lines either. I'm sorry. Evolution of the French flag. Okay, been through a lot of different changes. So back in the 10th and 12th century, it was just all blue. Nice. Then during the 12th century, they added these little gold bits, which kind of continued all the way to 1794. Then they kept the gold gold bits but got rid of the blue and then in 1790 we see kind of what we see today but the other way around which is interesting. French First Republic then they go old school again when the monarchy comes back then back to the classic 1815 then back again to the Kingdom of France and then since then they've just kind of filled about with the tricolours and you can see in 1976 they went with a lighter blue even though for the last 200 years they've had this navy and then back in 2021 they went back to the nice navy blue that they've been using since 1790. So I am curious why in the 70s did they randomly just make it a slightly lighter blue? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide over here and I'm just going to ask Aria, my AI assistant. Why did France change their chain of blue on their flag in 1976? Ah, it was to match the blue colour in the European Union flag. So that's nice. But what's funny is when they changed it back, apparently nobody noticed for over a year. <laughs> Anyway, thank you to my AI assistant, Aria, for helping me out with that info. Aria is built into the Opera One browser. You've probably heard me talk about Opera a few times at this point, and I've showed off lots of very useful features. But one thing I've still not showed off is their incredible Tab Islands feature. Whenever I'm on Red, I end up with loads of tabs like this. Now, what if I told you that this whole time I've also had secret YouTube tabs open? Tab Islands are very useful for keeping all of your tabs beautifully organized and them not just being super messy like this. As I've previously mentioned, we've also got instant access to WhatsApp, Instagram, and your music player of choice. You can also personalize your browser with the lovely animated backgrounds. So I went with this one where there's like a woman drowning slowly in the ocean. <laughs> And if that's not enough, Opera also has free ad block and VPNs built in. They've literally got everything. So you can download the Opera browser for free. Try it for yourself with the link in the description. And you're supporting my channel at the same time. Thank you. Back to the flags. Is there any specific reason why so many national flags have been simplified? Because, yeah, all these European flags, they used to have all these cool symbols in them. And now they're just a bunch of stripes. There's obviously going to be lots of different reasons. But people suggest that simpler flags are easier to produce, easier to do 
differentiate and easier to draw, which is nice as a citizen, isn't it? I drew every US state flag as low resolution pixel art. They all look so cute. Probably nearly two years ago now, I learned all of the state flags of America and I have not revised it at all. So I do not remember that many. I know that that is Hawaii. I know that's California. I always like the Colorado one. Where's that? There it is. And then after that, I'm kind of stuck. That's Texas. That's uh, Maryland. I like this one, but I've completely forgotten what it is. I think that one is... South Carolina, maybe? Yeah, we got it, we got it. Well, I can get there in 20 hours, apparently. I bought a Finnish flag as a fin from a Finnish store, and it looks like this. <laughs> Just in case you don't know, Finnish flag's meant to be slightly off-center. That's crazy, what happened? Oh my god. A rejected proposal for the flag of South Africa. What, is that one flag? I'm glad they rejected it. What's the flag to the right of the UK flag? There's a few European ones there, so is it some kind of version of Austria, maybe? It is the state flag of Austria. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I know things. What is this flag? Ooh, I feel like I've seen it before. It's a British overseas territory, but I don't know which one. I am going to make a guess on um, Ascension Island. Let's see. It's the green ensign flag. It's never had any official status. Ah, oh, so it's not a UK overseas territory. Okay. The Cadillac logo looks a lot like the flag of Maryland. Am I the first one to notice this? Yeah, the colours line up. The quadrant thing lines up. Yeah, fair enough. My friend says the British Columbia flag is better than the Panama flag. How do I tell him he's blind? So that's Panama, which I've always thought is a nice, very striking flag. And this is British Columbia, which is just a bit too... Well, no, it's actually terrible, let's be honest. There's far too much going on. These don't feel connected at all. All the little lines are too thin. I don't like when the lines are too thin. The extremely short-lived and rare 49-star US flag that was reigning from 1959 to 1960. I don't know much about US history, so I do not know what the last state to join was. Okay. Okay, it was Hawaii, which I guess makes sense. The best city flags in the US, in my opinion. Okay, I mean, they're all pretty naff, let's be honest. Wait, I've always liked that one. I like that one. But uh, everything else, mm, uh, that one's all right. Mm, uh, that one's okay as well. Yeah, best of a bad bunch. I mean, how many cities are there in the US? There's literally hundreds, aren't there? And these are the best seven, apparently. I changed the color of some flags that have blue into purple. Which one do you think fits the most? Okay, so this is Cape Verde. I do not think that looks great. I don't think the Chile one goes with red. The Czech one, same reason. Ecuador, kind of. I, mean, I know there's red down there, but kind of all in all, looks all right. Oh, Ethiopia? Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's all right. The blue's really nice, though. Get rid of all these red ones. Oh, there we go. Now there's no red, and it's just a nice contrast between the blue and the white. Uruguay, looking very pretty. Venezuela, not a fan. Barbados, not bad. Croatia, don't like that. And Thailand or Costa Rica, I'm not 100% sure. Not a fan. I think this one looks the coolest. What flag is this? I believe that's Yugoslavia, right? Hell yeah, it is. Yugoslavia, not a country anymore, so I don't know what that flag's doing wafting about. What is this flag that Google uses for the Irish rugby team? Uh, well, let, let me tell you. So, the Irish rugby team actually comprises of both Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland, so they had to make their own flag, because technically they're both independent nations. I know a lot about flags and geography, so, you know, don't worry about it. My mom knows I like flags, so she designed a flag for me. Oh, that is so cute. The stars at the bottom are straight up. The stars at the top are in a diagonal. Oh, there's like a sun ray thing. It's delightful. Which one here takes the crown for ugliest flag? flag. Oh, God. What is that? Is that a flag? How is that not just a look? Oh, God. What's that? Look at the way that the, the line doesn't line up. These can't be official flags. I know that's in Liberia, isn't it? Oh, Jesus Christ. These are horrendous. Don't like that one. Oh, God. God! Ah. <laughs> that one's actually all right. <laughs> it still looks like a logo more than a flag, but compared to the others, jeez. Anyone else think the 50 stars ruined the American flag? The original one looks far superior. Ooh, that's a very controversial thing to say. I like the way it slides. That's very satisfying to look at. Oh, yeah. Look, I don't care anymore. I'm just watching the sliding. United Republic of Korea, a theoretical flag for a United Korean Peninsula. Never gonna Happen, but I like the blend. Mmm, what? Oh, yeah, it's like it looks like a moose or something. It looks like something I want to eat. That little thing. Mmm. Oh, 
<laughs> what flag is this? Saw in a house in Oregon. It looks like a weird version of the Lesotho flag, right? It's just got a hyper-realistic tree for some reason. Apparently it's the Doug flag, which is a symbol for the quesadilla bioregion that roughly corresponds to the Pacific Northwest. Ah, okay. Flag of a nation that has both a Christian and Muslim majority population. That'd be nice. I feel people would kick off at it, but I think it's nice. Union Jack, but it's finally equal. So finally there's some Welsh representation. It is just a shame that it is disgusting looking. <laughs> because y'all liked it so much, I made more flags in the style of East Timor. Okay, so this is the original East Timor flag, which I've always thought looks pretty cool. Oh, we've done a North Korean version. We've got a Cuba, maybe, I guess? South Korea. Terrible. That's awful. Brazil, the colors are really nice, but that just doesn't quite work, does it? Then we've got Mozambique, which actually does look pretty cool. Portugal. Yeah, that's fine. A lot of red, though. Argentina is kind of nice as well. Australia? It's alright. It's not bad. Romania? Too much red. Very red intense. I get why though. Ukraine? That one's okay. Turkmenistan? Nah. Which one do I like the best? I think it's gotta be. That's really nice. The Mozambique one. But then, mm, North Korea. <laughs> Behold my home county's flag. Oh, I should maybe do an entire video that's just terrible US county flags. Because there are so many that are so ugly. What is that? Carroll County, Ohio. Sort it out, man. What? What is that? Anyway, after seeing Carroll County, I don't want to look at another flag again. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. Please do subscribe. 1.5 million subscribers would be delightful. Also remember to check out Opera if you want to support the channel and me in the description. All right, I'll see you later.